Tony D and Little Joan with a screenwriter's rant on latency. A movie about a woman trapped in a video game world. Kind of, sort of, not really. Is it going to work? Uh, Hollywood loves to make these video game movies. Has it ever worked? Smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Books 1 through 14 available at Amazon.com. Don't forget, Kindle Unlimited is free. So, the premise is this woman is afraid to go outside, number one. So she's trapped in her apartment constantly because her mother was and now she is. Now she's a video game programmer or tester or obsessed with video games because, you know, beautiful women are often very obsessed with video games. Uh, yeah, they have no reason to go outside. They, they don't have guys chasing them down every 10 seconds. And they don't get fat from sitting around all day playing video games. Um, so she is, I guess she's a developer or she's a tester. And she's given this Omni te thing. It's like a virtual reality that maps her brain. But then it starts messing with her brain. She doesn't know what's real. And you can pretty much write the rest. Things get weirder and weirder. She can't stop the Omni. And uh, eventually she has to escape the house. And I think I know the ending of this one. Uh, enter the game. June 14th is when it comes out. So. And there she is. All, all afraid. Uh, maybe it's the not too distant future with that pad. I don't know. And this is her girlfriend, I guess. Another beautiful woman who's really into video games, guys. Yeah, I can't tell you how, how often I walk down the street and meet drop-dead beautiful women who just can't stop talking about video games. Oh, they love it. They love it. I know. I know. You're writing in the comments already. God, there's so many beautiful women. Uh, it's why I play video games, most guys will tell you. Oh, because I want to meet a beautiful woman who also plays video games. There's so many of them. In fact, most beautiful women are probably playing video games right now. Huh? But um, I guess you could say uh, that Hollywood at least knows its audience in this case. Um, so, first act, she's she's never leaves her apartment. Never gets fat for some reason. And um, plays video game. She she exists, guys. Keep keep hope alive. And uh, <laughs> but um, then she gets the Omni headset, which is some sort of virtual reality AI thing that maps her brain and then can interact quicker. And she can play the games without touching the screen. It's kind of like a Neuralink, but you just put it on your head. And at first, it's great fun. She's having, she wins uh, $250,000 because now she can use the OmniLink to, to do things. And um, uh, she wins some sort of gaming tournament. But then, of course, she starts seeing the monsters in reality, you know, from the game. And uh, starts seeing them in her apartment. And um, uh, starts imagining things doesn't know what's real and eventually she's forced to leave her apartment and uh, at some point she's chased by video game monsters off the roof and plunges to her death but it's not a real death so what's real what's not real we don't know that's the downside of this movie um, and I think the ending will be that the entire plot of the movie was an orchestration in order to cure her of being trapped in the apartment. So that maybe her friend or another programmer uh, developed the Omni specifically to put on her and fix her brain or that Omni fixed her brain. Uh, but then the uh, darker ending is that maybe now she's insane or that she has supernatural powers thanks to the you know stuff that went on in her brain and and now she she's crazy and I don't know is killing people I, I don't know what I do know is um, 
the problem with this movie, if you're going to write one of these, the problem is trying to uh, adjust the stakes. Like, what are the stakes of the movie? And you can't know the stakes unless you know what the reality is. So, if in the movie you're constantly wondering, is she in reality or is she imagining this, which probably happens in the third act, it's it's very hard to navigate. Um, now, in a movie like that uh, Ryan Reynolds movie where he plays the video game character, I think it's called Guy, right? Like, it's very clear that Ryan Reynolds is a part of the game. And then they're mapping reality onto him to some extent. And then, um, you know, they're trying to save him in the game. In this... It's kind of like a reverse Tron. Like in Tron, a guy gets sucked into the world of computers. In this one, the computers get sucked into our reality. Maybe. But we don't know because if you're constantly playing with reality, we don't know where the ground is. So this might be dangerous. Her jumping off a building might be dangerous. Or it might not be dangerous at all because it's all happening in virtual reality. Which it probably is because... Um, you're not going to kill off the main character, at least maybe not, you know, if you're at the end of the movie, maybe. So it's a very difficult tightrope. Does this movie succeed? Well, it's not very realistic in its portrayal of video gamers, I'll say. So how realistic do you think it would be in trying to map out a reality when you're playing with reality? I would guess it's probably probably not that good <laughs> or it could be a very cynical sort of ploy just to get gamers to watch this movie right so it's like well this is a movie about video games women won't go see this but guys will so let's make the protagonist and her friend hot chicks um you know uh in my era the movie like this was weird science and it was two dudes working with the computer and they build like a Frankenstein woman app using their computer powers, which, you know, was a different time. And, um, uh, but it was fun. This, this movie's kind of ridiculous. I, I kind of don't buy the premise. Um, and even if I did, I wouldn't buy it like this. You know, it, it just, if she can't see reality, and I can't see it as the audience member, then you're just jerking me around to give me all these fake scares and close calls that in the end probably don't really matter. So it's, I find it manipulative. Um, would I see it? Probably not. Probably not, unless somebody told me it wasn't that way, you know. It's possible it's not the way I described, but it kind of looks that way. Let's read the write-up. Uh, no write-up. Starring Sasha Luz, Luz and Alex, Alexis Wren. What a, what a small R. Um, it's a low-budget movie, I think. Uh, simply because, you know, it's all going to take place in her disgusting apartment, by the way. Uh, that's another thing that's very unrealistic. If you're going to have a female protagonist... At least have an apartment that a female would live in. You can't just swap out. What was the original character a guy, and you swapped it out? You can't do that. It doesn't work. I don't think most women would live in the pigsty she's living in, especially a woman who hasn't left her apartment. I don't think it would be this dark. It would be properly decorated. Yeah, she's in the video games. It doesn't mean she's an incel. Uh, it wouldn't mean she was an incel if it was a guy, necessarily. But you seem to be, you know, portraying it that way. And it comes off as even more unrealistic. So if you wanted it based in reality, if you really wanted a girl in this movie, it should have been well lit. I get why it's not well lit. It's because it helps the CGI look more realistic. In that case, you should have stuck with a male protagonist. I think a male protagonist would have been better um, simply because it's video games. Would have been more realistic. 
So that's that's the movie latency. So if you you play a lot of video games and you decide, oh, I'm going to unplug and go to the movies, finally get outside and get away from the screen. What are you going to go see? Oh, yeah, let's go see a movie about a video game. Yeah, I don't know if you're going to do that either. Kind of a weird call there, Hollywood. That's it for me, Tony D and Little Joan. Check us out on Odyssey, Bitchute, and Rumble for our more base takes. If you can find a more base take, I say take it. I will be at the Medford Historical Society's Country Day on Saturday from 12 to 4. Don't forget, Mother's Day is Sunday. And don't forget, I will be on television Saturday and Sunday on Channel 17's Weekend Filler, with a PH, 11 a.m. on Saturday and 5 p.m. on Sunday. Hope to see you there, if, if I can see you through the TV. I don't think I have that power, but we'll see. We'll see you.